Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, June 16th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. You can buy it by the inch. Hmm. I don't think they're talking about fabric here. By the inch. Hmm. Making a crossing say. Making a crossing. Is this like making a sign of the cross? Hmm. Out or went out with. Maybe this is dated? Dated fashions would be out, right? They would be out of fashion. Throw in. Yeah, that'll be add. Hard to handle in a way. Is this eely? That's a very crosswordy answer. Tear into. I wonder if that's scold. Yeah, it could be. Small drinking glass as for liquor. Hmm. What do you call those? It's not a shot glass. Hmm. Making a crossing say. I wonder if that's at sea. You would be crossing an ocean. You can buy it by the inch. I wonder if it's ad space in a newspaper, yeah. Shell stations. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about gas stations. I wonder if this is taco shells. This could be taco bars. That's pretty funny. Blank National Monument. Landmark in New York City's West Village. Hmm. I feel like I should know this. Is it Stonewall? That's a good Pride Month entry. So this is pony? A pony glass? I don't know if I've ever heard of that. This is Abe Saperstein, who founded the Harlem Globetrotters. I don't think I've heard of him before. Harsh cry is a caw, as a crow might make. Mythological name that means awakener of desire. Hmm. Mythological name. I'm not sure if I know this one. It's not Eros. Open with a penknife say. Is it slit? I think it has to be. Name symbolizing restoration. Hmm. I don't know. Some foreign relations. Foreign relations. It feels like there's a pun in here somewhere. Hmm. Is it about love in a foreign language? I don't know. Mythological name. Faints from emotion. Ooh, what's another word for fainting? It's not swoons. Hmm, we kind of ran out of steam here, didn't we? High school football night usually. Isn't that Friday night lights? Okay, there's a little bit of something to build off of. Typesetting consideration, that could be the font. Way, that's very ambiguous. Hmm, it's not a method. It's not a trail. Eponymous County of Ireland. Hmm, so this county is named after something or something is named after this county. Hmm. There's a lot of options here. Let's take a look at these long acrosses. Maybe we can get lucky here. Spending excessive time reading negative news online. I think that would be called doom spiraling. Yeah, that does fit. I've done my fair share of doom spiraling. Okay. Modern form of ostracization. Hmm. It feels like something that would happen online. Is this gonna be cancel culture? Does that fit? It does. I wonder if that's what it is. Horus's two-horned queen of the stars. That's gotta be the moon, right? Luna? Okay. British newspaper with the highest paid circulation as of 2023. I wonder if that's the Daily Mail. Yeah, common fabric for bedspreads. 
For bedspreads? It's not just cotton? Hmm. Norse goddess of death with an apt sounding name. Ooh. I don't know if I know this goddess. Any news? Curry and others. This is a tricky hidden proper noun here. I think this is talking about Tim Curry, the actor. So this could be Tim's. Knack. Hmm. So this is kind of having a talent? I don't know. One of the Hindu trinity. Ooh. I'm not sure if I know this one. Tapenade ingredient. That really should be an olive. Let up. It's not relent. Is this Shiva? Doesn't that have an H in it? Hmm. Dinosaur in Toy Story. That is Rex. Knack. Hmm. Let up. Maybe that's relax, yeah. Is it Shiva, S-I-V-A? Why? What for? An equivalent phrase, yeah. Norse goddess, is it hell? <laughs> I guess it could be. Common fabric for bedspreads. Hmm. Is it chenille? And this could be a flare, right? Yeah. It is Shiva, or is it Siva? Hmm. I think this is chenille. So does this start with white? Popular vodka cocktails. Are these white Russians? That does fit. I thought white Russians used Kahlua. Hmm. Way. It's not proceed, is it? That doesn't feel like the right part of speech. Maybe it's process. There we go. Family nickname. It's probably sis. Hmm. This has got to be limerick, right? So I guess the poems are named after limerick. Faints from emotion. Hmm. What is this? That's interesting. It still doesn't look like anything to me. Okay, so this is a name. It's not Lazarus, is it? Lazarus. That would fit. Professional org that launched the war on smoking. Hmm. Maybe that's the American Medical Association. Is it Lazarus? Hmm. Is it like Plotzes? Is it kind of Yiddish? Is it not doom spiraling? Oh, it's doom scrolling, isn't it? Yeah, I had the wrong term there. Okay, there we go. That looks better. So this is CC's, includes in a way. Yeah, if we're talking about email. So this is a Lazarus. Some foreign relations. Maybe this is Tia's. That's ans in Spanish. Okay, nice. So maybe this is Plotz's. Yeah. And this is Erato? I think I have actually seen that before. Okay, so this looks like it has to be semolina. Pasta or pudding ingredient. Yeah, that's a type of flour. Coastal corrosion cause. Uh, is it gonna be salt air? Long to be in Hollywood? And this is more wordplay. This is also another hidden proper noun. Yeah, this has got to be about the actress Nia Long. Okay. Bagel shop request. Hmm. I don't know. What do we have here? Drink made with syrup. Is that a slushy? Oh, is this a schmear? <laughs> That's a fun entry. Chicken what? Hmm. Memory units for short. Maybe that's Meg's? Call up. I wonder if that's evoke. It's calling something up in your memory. Okay. 
events for bibliophiles. That has to be book fairs. Award-winning poet Blank Rich. That name is not ringing any bells. Reserve of a sort. Is this talking about wine? Hmm. Nick Blank. College football coach with the most national titles. Seven as of 2023. Oh man. I really don't know anything about college football. Current connection point. I feel like they're making a pun about electricity here with this word current. Maybe this could be an anode on a battery. Secret targets. Is this another hidden proper noun? This could be talking about the antiperspirant, secret. This could be odors. Nice, okay. Blank Miguel Island, one of the Azores. It's gotta be Sao, right? Yeah, okay. Some Boolean operators? That's gotta be Anne's. Hmm, yeah, I think we're gonna need help on every letter here. Sketch. Maybe this is a comedy sketch? This could be a skit. Tuition, e.g. Uh, is it a tuition fee? Lee of film. Okay, this is finally not a hidden proper noun. They're talking about Ang Lee, the director. Award-winning poet. It has to be Adrienne, right? Reserve of a sort. Oh, I guess they're talking about a nest egg. It's a reserve, as in, it's your life savings. Okay, so this is gonna be Nick Saban. Oof, yeah, we needed a lot of help there. They go straight to your head. This has gotta be ego trips. Oh, that doesn't fit. What is this gonna be? Hmm, that's tricky. What do we have on the down here? Spot for discards. Is this talking about a card game? Hmm. Evidence of a screech, maybe. Uh, is it a skid mark? Yeah, that would be a car making a screech. Bridge tactic. This has to be talking about the card game, right? I don't really know too much about bridge. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some help here. Not like everything else. Is that just odd? Ceremony. It's not a rite? Hmm. Maybe it's pomp? Like pomp and circumstance? Mount up. Hmm. I don't know. Stiff fiber. I wonder if this is sisal? We just saw sisals on the puzzle a few days ago. What's happening? An equivalent phrase? Could that just be sup? What's happening? Mount up. Hmm. Extremist. It's not a zealot? Hmm. Persistently annoying. That could be pesky. What in the world is this? Is it pile up? Oh, I thought this was about a person mounting like a bicycle or a motorcycle, but this is about something piling up. Okay, so maybe this is ultra and this is eco boosts. Okay, we were on the right track. Spot for discards. Is it just a bin, like a trash bin? Bridge tactic. Yeah, I guess it's an end play. I've never seen that term before, but it does make sense. And I kind of like that it's our last entry here. All right, let's throw this N in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in 18 minutes. So I think the flashiest part of this puzzle is of course this nice stack in the center. Doom scrolling, cancel culture, and white Russians. There's a lot of modern language in here. There was some other nice long fill too though. Book fairs, chenille was pretty nice. It's always good to see Stonewall. Ego boosts, Skidmark is quite the entry. 
Limerick. I did like the pair of Plotzes and Schmear also, but I think the secret theme today was actually hidden proper nouns. We had a whole bunch of them. We had Curry and Others for Tim's. We had Long to be in Hollywood for Nia. And we also had Secret Targets for Odors. Yeah, those were all very, very tricky. All right, well, it looks like we've reached the end play, but I hope you enjoyed solving that Friday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, the Saturday, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.